Hello friends and welcome to my channel, Watercolor Painting in the Afternoon. I'm Beth and today is mostly about an advertisement <laughs> for somebody else. This is for Steve Mitchell who is doing a class, a series of seven classes in watercolor sketching and in, you know, just sort of uh, what, uh, from his imagination. You know, he does, he's not going out and painting something um, plein air. He's not, he doesn't have a still life set up. This is from his imagination. And he's got this class, it's totally, completely free. It's on strathmoreartiststudio.com and I'm gonna leave a link in this video so that you can see it. Now Steve has done all sorts of, um, all sorts of styles, all sorts of things that are stunning, just stunning. And when you talk about line and wash, nobody does it better than Steve Mitchell. Um, these are mine, right? They're not, uh, certainly not as professional as Steve's, um, but this is the kind of thing he does. And I'm gonna do one right now, um, just playing around. And I know it's not gonna look like Steve Mitchell's because um, I'm nowhere near that skillful, but you know, you could just blob down some paint and then use your imagination to sort of see the scene uh, as it comes to life. And it's really a lot of fun. So let me show you kind of sort of how they do this. And um, then I hope that you will join me because I am going to be watching um, Steve Mitchell's channel. Not his channel, excuse me. He does have a YouTube channel. But I'm going to be watching him on StrathmoreArtistStudio.com doing his thing with watercolor because it's it's magical. All right, um, so one of the things he does first is he just thinks of the scene that he kind of sort of wants to paint and then maybe he will put some color down. Um, you know, maybe it's a forest scene, so he's gonna start by just whimsically sort of putting some color down and making some shapes. Doesn't all have to be the same color. Can be different colors and of course landscapes have all kinds of different colors in them. Here's a little bit of blue um, and maybe that blue sort of blends up into the sky. Maybe it touches this, this green a little bit and in other places it doesn't. See I don't really want that to come way up in there so I'm gonna pull it down. <laughs> Already I'm screwing it up, but it, Steve won't, so go watch his class. He will not screw this up, and he'll show you exactly how to do it. Okay, look how that's granulating. That's really crazy. All right, um, maybe there's some fall colors in this landscape. I don't know. I'm going to add a little orange and see where that goes. Um... Let the orange burn bright in this landscape. And then maybe we have um, kind of a, a brownish green meadow down here, perhaps. I don't know. There might be some light coming through the trees in the back. There might be some... Um, some just trunks and I'm being kind of lazy about it, right? I'm just placing the paint where I want it. I'm gonna leave this part white because I don't know what I want there yet. But what I'm gonna do is let this dry completely and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna work over it with ink. And when I do, uh, you'll see kind of the, the magic that happens when you do pen and ink, um, or excuse me, um, ink and wash. But this is really wash and ink, and I think he's going to show us how to do this so much better than I can. But I just want you to get a taste for it so that you're hungry to go over there and watch Steve do it. It's, like I said, it's totally free. And if you don't want to do this, man, you're nuts. Because I think he's, he's such a genius at this. Anyway, let's let it dry. All right, that has dried plenty, I think. And so I'm going to take a waterproof pen 
And the reason it's going to be waterproof is because I might want to come back and put more color on it later. This is my Micron 03 um, archival ink, all that good stuff. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do down here yet because that just looks like a blob and it is a blob. So I'm going to start with the trees uh, up here. And what Steve has taught me to do is just start doodling. Um, he says this is the thing to do when you just feel like you've got to draw, but you don't know what to draw and you're kind of, you know, just feeling around to see what's out there. I'm going to pretend my light's coming this way. So I might just shade it a little bit on this side. I don't know. Let's just do that a little bit. And this is going to come up in here. And we might have another tree right here. I really, honestly, I don't know how this is going to turn out. It may turn out terrible. I don't know. It's just you kind of let your imagination go and you do what you feel like doing. Um, put a little bit of detail in here and there and you know you don't have to worry about am I going to get it just just right or not you know if you if you're doing this then you're doing it because you're interested in drawing right now and and uh, you're just kind of letting your imagination take over. So I'm going to let my imagination take over and be quiet for a few minutes. I'm just going to work on this.
I'm just going to put some things in the shadow areas where I think the shadows ought to be and just make those colors a little darker. Um, you don't have to be too specific. I don't think that's the beauty of this, is that you can be a little, a little haphazard with it and it's not going to hurt anything. Um, this might be too, a little bit too dark. Take some of that up. So when you get that done, when you've got some things in there that you are comfortable with, that you like, um, that's when maybe to come back in here and fill it with uh, a nice color. Um, you know, maybe uh, it's too wet. Maybe a green that that lets some of the light in. You know, perhaps there's some light coming through here, and uh, we can put a little little bit of that in there, just to indicate light. But you want to give it a good background. You want to give it something that that works. Maybe there's some underbrush back in there that's not as defined. As that which is up here. Maybe you get a little bit b uh, further back in the trees and we can darken that a little bit just to give it definition. And you see what happens. What if we do that? Oh, that's fun. Let's just streak this a little bit. It's damp into damp right now and that looks like the light is coming through those trees. I like that. See what you can do is it's just incredible. And he's going to take you through all of that. I'm not going to do much more uh, right now because I think that if you will watch his lessons, you're going to really learn something wonderful and amazing and beautiful. And I'm certainly going to be there learning. That It starts tomorrow. And uh, you are welcome to be a part of it. You are welcome. It, it's free. Uh, you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to have to pay for it, because you don't. So, um, yeah. And I'll come back and I'll get that done, because it looks kind of like some grasses maybe that are uh, in the foreground, but I've got to let that dry too. And I'll show you the finished product. I'm not going to just sit here and do this, um, you know, ask you to watch all this. But uh, hope to see you there. I'm going to be there, definitely. And I hope that you will too. So, see you next time.